What did you learn eyeballing uh, Saints Panthers by uh, in that booth on Monday night? Yeah. Um, well, starting with the with the Panthers, because everyone's everyone wants to know what you know what the story is with Bryce. Bryce Young just needs help. They don't have wide receivers that can separate. The offensive lines are work in progress. They're just not explosive enough on offense, and he's not ready to be the guy who can make up for what they don't have. He's not ready for that yet because he's still trying to find his way. And Frank Reich and that tremendous coaching staff down there, they're trying to guide him through that. They played real good defense last night. I can tell you this, Jiro Evero, their defensive coordinator, who was with Denver last year, he's yes. a rock star future head coach in the making. He can scheme it up and teach it against anybody. And he kept them in the game as long as he could yep. from a defensive standpoint. But the Saints, the Saints have what could potentially be a, I, you know, when I say historic, like that, that sounds a little hyperbolic, but look, the Mario Davis thinks that they could be a historic quality defense. Mm -hmm. they, and I can see why. They have pass rushers. They have guys who can stop the run. He's a perennial all pro. Pete Warner is a burgeoning all pro. Marshawn Lattimore is already an all pro. Tyron Matthews is like, you know, the brains behind the whole operation back there. They, they just have ballers everywhere. And Derek Carr right now, as soon as he gets on the same page on a consistent basis with this wide receiver core and Alvin Kamara comes back, they'll be able to hang points on anybody because they're explosive as hell. So that's a team that right now is finding its way and still racking up wins. They're going to be there in the end. They should win their division. First time and in the be a player in the, in the playoffs. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So first time in the since the the South has been established in the NFC that there's three two and O teams. If yeah. I'm not mistaken, are you are you calling Eagles and Bucks next week too, Lewis? Are you on no. that one? Uh, no, we have. Okay. We have next week. Um, we have the Rams at the Bengals. Okay, so you're doing that one. Gotcha. Yeah. And so, oh, okay. So, who do you who do you have? Do you think the Saints can win that division? You you have the, absolutely. Okay. I I don't see why they shouldn't look. I I mean, I love the Bucks. I love Todd Bowles. You, I mean, everyone knows that. But the the Saints are the Saints are loaded, man. They they really are. And like I said, when Kamara gets back, you know, he is going to him along with Tony Jones, who wound up running the football last night pretty darn well late in the game, and Taysom Hill, who's who's a heck of a Swiss Army knife, they've got pretty much everything you need to contend at the very highest level. At the very highest level. So I'm, I'm really high on New Orleans, for sure. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.